The following is just an example of some of the ways I like to get ready for a lower body workout. This routine was put together based off what I found most helpful for myself. While these can and will work for you, I highly suggest trying to piece together your own routine based off what you find to be most effective. P.S. So the first thing I usually like to start off with is some kind of aerobic work just to get my heart rate up and my muscles a little bit loose. Coming typically from work where I've been sitting in an office in a desk for eight to nine hours, this is a great way to do so. You can use anything from the Stairmaster to the elliptical to whatever you want, but just getting moving here is key. I usually like to move on to foam rolling from here and what I really prefer to do is just to roll the outside of my legs probably do something around 15 to 20 rolls and then switch sides. I don't actually roll the inside of my legs anymore. I just didn't really find that to be overly effective. So just the outside in this case and really spend some time in any of those areas that are pretty tight. And even though this is a lower body routine, I still like to roll my back because let's face it, it just feels good. One of the new tools I've been getting a lot of use out of is the hip circle from howmuchabench.net and Mark Bell. Basically just putting around my knees and doing these wide walking steps both forward and backwards. I find this really warms up my hips and my glutes quite efficiently. I'll typically just do this until I feel like I can't do anymore, so it's really going to vary about how many steps that I end up taking. From here I grab a heavy duty resistance band and just strap it around something stable, maybe the squat rack here, in this case I'm using an incline bench. I then wrap it around my glutes, aka my butt. And what I do from here is just squat down. And the purpose of this is getting the resistance in place so you can really get down and deep and actually get back a little bit without really worrying that you're going to be toppling over. So again, I just do these for a couple of reps here, really try to work on my hips. And one of the things you can do in this position is also stick your elbows against your knees and push out and really help open them up. You can also take that resistance band and wrap it around your waist and then attach it to each knee. Now for this, you're going to want to make sure you have a flat surface like a wall to do this on. But what you're going to be able to do is once you get these both wrapped, is simply lay flat on your back as close to the wall as possible. From here, you want to get into a squatting form. You might also have to change your hat position, safety first as always, and really just focus here on trying to open up your legs and engage those hips. You can also use your arms to push out as well. I'll typically hold this from anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds, rest for a couple, and then do it again. From this same position, the next thing I'll do is take one of my legs and put it across the other and really try to force my hips down. And I feel this tremendously in my legs and it's something where my lack of mobility really shows through. So this has been something I've really been trying to work on. I'll typically hold each leg for a count of around 10 seconds or so before switching and going back and forth several times. You can also throw your elbow or push your knee out forward if you need to really work on it further. The next one is a pretty common one and this can be done on the ground as well on all fours and kind of just putting it up and you'll probably engage your glutes a little bit better. But I just like to really get my hips open and I'll do 10 circles forward with my right leg, then 10 circles the opposite direction, and then switch legs and do it with my left as well. I then like to go ahead and grab the tallest box that we have and just stand on top of it, try to get myself close in and force my groin to really open up. From here I also play with my knee position quite a bit. I'll pull myself down into this box to really help activate as much as possible. And I'll do this again just based off of feel and switch legs and oftentimes I'll alternate back and forth. The last exercise I'm going to show you here is one that's really helped me with my sumo deadlifts the past couple of weeks. And that is using a bench for leverage and really throwing your other leg out in front of you. You can also see I'm using a patty under my knee just to make sure everything stays safe. What I do here is I try to stay as upright as possible and push my glutes through and this is really tight in my groin. But again, it's really been beneficial. Hold it for like a 10 count and then all I do is switch legs and do the same thing and go back and forth as many times as I feel necessary. So that's my current mobility routine. As I said, these are things that I've found that have worked best for me based off of what I've been doing. And here you can see it in action as I go for my first working sets here of squats for the day, which is two sets of 515 for two reps each. Now there are a lot of other great exercises that I didn't show you that I might've showed you in the past, things where you can use the foam roller or lacrosse ball or whatever other tools you have at your disposal. Again, what I highly suggest is play around with a bunch of this, see what works best for you, see what you feel most comfortable doing, and really start implementing that because what you'll find is mobility really has a huge transfer over to everything else you do, not only in life, but in lifting. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. And in the meantime, stay big.